What is up, Trilogy fam? Welcome back to another episode of Trilogy On Demand. Uh, today's workout for you is going to feature shoulder exercises. So uh, we're going to be hitting those boulders today. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to have to keep in mind. Uh, your shoulders are your most mobile joints. So what that means is we have to be extremely careful with every exercise. We have to make sure that our warm up um, is done extremely effectively. Um, because your shoulders are very susceptible to injury, uh, there's impingements that can occur, there's muscle strains, there's tendonitis, there's um, pretty much anything that, that can go wrong in your body, your shoulder is susceptible to it uh, because it is so mobile. So um, that's one thing we're going to really keep in mind today is make sure all these movements are done super safely, super effectively, uh, and then we'll have no problems going forward. But um, no, there will be no equipment required for today's workout. If you do have a couple of light, light dumbbells, like three to five pound dumbbells at most, uh, you can work those in. Uh, but otherwise, you need no additional equipment. You just need your body, you need your screen, and you need to follow along with me. Um, we're going to start off with a shoulder focused warm up. Uh, again, so everything today is going to revolve around the shoulders. Uh, and then we'll, we'll hit our circuit. We've got nine. Awesome exercises for you today that all focus on the shoulders in different ways. Uh, so we're going to hit through those nine all in a row, and then we're going to come back around to the top, do it all again. All right. So uh, without further ado, we're going to start off with some shoulder rolls. So arms down to your side, and bring those shoulders all the way up to your ear, all the way back, all the way down. Just try to get as much range of motion. Really relaxed here. We're just trying to wake up all those little muscles in and around the joint. Big deep breaths, waking up the breath as well. So the shoulder is kind of an interesting joint because it is a smaller muscle group. Um, typically, you know, it, it is a lower endurance uh, muscles. Basically, when your when your shoulder gets tired. That's it. Um, you, <laughs> there's not really muscles around that can help out and pick up some of the slack like with some of your bigger muscle groups. Um, so we have to be really careful that when we're feeling the burn, that's where we stop. We don't push it too far and again, get to the point where um, you got a, a potential injury occurring. So uh, next thing we're gonna start off with some arm circles. We're gonna go really small little baby arm circles to start. Again, just really gently working that range of motion Slowly getting a little bit bigger and bigger. Again, don't forget to breathe here. Breathing, I think, is the most important part of the warm up. So we're warming up our muscles, but we're really warming up your lungs more than anything. And even though, again, small muscle group, not a lot of uh, blood flow or oxygen supply needed, let's go reverse. Uh, still want to make sure that we are breathing properly, make sure that we are. Um, getting as much oxygen as we can, even though, again, those muscles are gonna fatigue, they're gonna fatigue pretty quickly. Uh, that's why we're only going two times through today instead of the normal three, uh, just because I feel like it's probably gonna, probably gonna be a burner. So uh, we're gonna focus on that and, and see, where, see how we do so far. So we're switching to some uh, arm scissors right here. I like to alternate which arm goes on top. So just see my left arm over top and then my right left, right. If you're not switching, no big deal. But again, we're trying to get the stretch on the way out and then the stretch on the back side when we cross over. So open up, we're stretching right through the front and then when we close, getting hitting those back muscles, those posterior uh, rear delts, posterior chain of muscles. All right. Next one we're going to do nice wide stance. We're gonna alternate arms. We're gonna reach up and over. Bring it back. Other side, up and over. And I feel like me, you gotta have to do this warm up. And you're like, this is just the warm up. My shoulders are already tired. That's a good thing. Don't worry. We're gonna be switching up front, side, and rear uh, on the shoulders as well as mixing in a couple of, I guess, more complimentary groups into the mix. And again, as always, we're going to try to keep a good pace going for you just in case uh, this is 
you know, not too challenging for you. If you do need to take breaks at any point, please do not hesitate, press pause, catch your breath. We'll be here when you're ready to, to resume. So um, take breaks when you need it. I'm a big proponent of that. Don't, you know, listen to your body, uh, gr grab some water, grab an extra breather if you need it. We're gonna try to keep it pushing, um, and if you can keep up, great. But again, if you need to take a little extra breather, go ahead and press that pause button. That's the beauty of the on-demand. Um, next one we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do a little downward dog flow here. So we're gonna start off, inhale the arms up, exhale down to the mat, inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold, and we're gonna walk those hands in front to a high plank. And again, we're gonna kind of keep this as kind of our starting point. We're going to exhale to low, inhale, upward dog, and then exhale to our down dog. This is a great place to warm up the shoulders because they are overhead, but they are also um, very supported, very stable. And then we're elongating the spine. So again, that's going to just decompress everything a little bit. We're going to arch that back all the way back to our high plank back to low one more upward one more downward i always felt like you could just do a 30 minute class of, of just this flow and be exhausted but today we're just using it as a warm-up big breath in all right so uh, if you want to hit a couple more of those flows, great, um, but pretty solid warm up. We're ready for our circuit. So um, we're not going to do totally based on time. Some of it's going to be reps, some of it's going to be time, um, but follow along at home the best you can. Again, if you need to modify, if I'm doing 15 and you want to do 10, or if I'm doing 15 and you want to do 20, go for it. Um, th these are all just kind of general guidelines. But uh, we are going to start with a shoulder press variation. We're gonna start off with um, arms out wide, sort of like a field goal. Again, here's one where if you wanna grab some weights, you can, but for, uh, for our purposes, we're gonna do this without any extra equipment. So starting out wide, nice and tall, and bring the arms in, touch those elbows together, make sure they squeeze, and then press the arms all the way up. Coming back down, elbows together, and back out. That's one, we're gonna go for 10. Together, up, down, out, that's two. In, up, down, out, three. Make sure you're getting good deep breaths. That's four. Again, this won't feel that tough at first, but about halfway through, towards the back half, we're gonna start feeling that burn kicking in. Six, seven, looking good guys. A couple more, eight. Again, it feels kind of, I always felt like if I wasn't holding any weights or any resistance, like it wasn't really anything that was effective. This, if you do properly, if you focus on the range of motion, I think that was time, we're gonna do a bonus one here. You will feel those muscles working, you will feel burn again. Small muscle group, it's not, doesn't take a lot to get the shoulders going. Um, next one we're gonna do is gonna be a variation on the pull apart. So again, if we had a band, and you, if you have a band and you wanna use it, you can, but we're gonna be doing basically a pull apart like this. Again, without any weight, without any resistance, um, I'm gonna do this from a, bent, uh, from a bent position. So we're gonna go out wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together, we're gonna go for 15. So from a side angle, you really wanna focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together almost the way I always describe it is, pretend somebody put a pencil in the middle of your back and you're trying to grab it with your shoulder blades. That's the best example of how to pull apart this, um, the shoulders and effectively hit this movement right here. So big deep breaths. Again, you can do the standing, but the gravity is gonna add the resistance here. So by doing it in the bent over position without any weights, 
you are still feeling those muscles have to work against gravity. If you do the standing, it's still, you still feel the contraction, but you're not, there's nothing really resisting you as much. It's more the top, the top of your shoulders are doing more of the work still, because that's what's uh, still resisting gravity. I lost count, but we're gonna do three more. One, two, last one, we're gonna hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, squeeze it, try to get a little bit further, a little bit higher. Good, nice job, guys. Whew. All right, big deep breath, getting ready for the next round. We're gonna do a variation on a shoulder raise this time. So, we're gonna start with a front raise where we go up, and then we're gonna go out, and then we're gonna go back together and down. That's it, okay? So, real simple. Again, if you have a three pound, maybe a five pound weight, you can grab it, uh, but not necessary here. We can do this with no extra equipment if, if you don't have it here. So here we go. Going for 15, and again, if you have a weight, maybe scale it down to 10. Ready, go up, out, together, down. And the straighter the arms, the better, the more work the muscles have to do. And the biggest thing to focus on is when those hands come up to right here, making sure they stay on the same plane the entire time. So if you're getting a little lazy and things, they come out here and they're dropping, and they're coming back together, and then you're going back down, you're not really getting as much of the benefit here. So really focus on once they're up, they're staying on a whole the plane of their own. They're not, they're not going up, they're not going down. Everything's very controlled. Let's go five more. I told you guys, I'm a terrible counter, so I'm just kind of kind of guessing here, but that's okay. Okay, starting to burn a little bit. That's when we know we're about the right point. Two more. Last one. Good. All right. Next one we've got for you today is the upright row. So this is a movement that, again, you need to be very careful with, especially if you are using any additional weights, because it's really easy to get off track. What we're going to do is start with your hands down, so palms facing your body, and you're going to row up to a upright position and then back down. So again, and I have some shoulder issues, so it's a little wonky on my one side, but if you get to the point where your shoulders are coming up by your ears and you're really more doing a shrug, that's not the upright row. We're trying to keep everything, keep your neck nice and tall, your chin up, and again, it's hard to do without any weight, but you can still, you'll still feel the burn with, not, with no extra resistance. We're gonna do 15 here, 15-ish. I always have to qualify it. Not exactly 15, but shoot for 15. And then if you got a little extra weight that you're holding, again, you can scale that down to uh, 10, maybe 12 if you're feeling good. So here we go, let's do a couple more here. Three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, now the next one. All right, gang, so it looks like the uh, recording cut off in the middle of the workout, which I did go on and finish, but this is for you guys, so we're gonna come back and pick up where we left off here. Um, we finished our upright rows, so now we're moving on to external rotations. Um, we're gonna stand nice and tall, elbows in, uh, arms at 90 degree angle, and we're gonna start with the hands together, externally rotate out, we're going for 15, two, and just trying to get as much range of motion as we can here. Big deep breaths. Again, this is in the middle of the circuit uh, to kind of give ourselves a little breather, kind of break up the uh, standing and the, the floor-based uh, exercises, which are coming next. One more time here, last one. Excellent job. Um, heading down to the ground, we are going to start with push-ups. Um, to hit the shoulders a little bit more, I'm going to keep these as close grip push-ups, uh, so it's less on the chest and a little more on the shoulders. 
Uh, I'm gonna do the first round from the knees, since I've already done uh, now three rounds of this. <laughs> this will be a fourth one. Here we go. Uh, 15 reps, three, two, one, down. Nice job. All right, we are staying on the mat. We're going down to your belly. We're gonna do around the world. So we're basically setting up as a Superman here. We're gonna come all the way up and then arms come all the way down to your side, out nice and wide. That's one, we're going for 10, two, three, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. And last movement of the circuit today is going to be. Um, oh, we skipped bird dogs. All right, we're gonna go to bird dogs next. All right, so uh, we're setting up our bird dog. Hands and knees, shoulder width, and hip distance. We're gonna start off. Get that left leg nice and straight. Right arm comes up to counter it, and then we're going to tap 15 times. One, two, three. Good. A lot of core here, but also a lot of shoulder, both on the arm that's stabilizing. So my left arm right now, stabilizing, and then my right arm right now with the shoulder raised. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Same thing, right arm, right leg. Long day. <laughs> right leg out, left arm up. Here we go. Taps. One, two. Eight, nine, ten. Looking good. Nice job, guys. All right. Last movement for real this time is going to be our shoulder taps. So, um, I'm going to do these from the knees for the first round, um, probably the second round too. <laughs> I've already done them a few times. But really important part here is that your, sh that your hips, if you're on your knees, your hips need to be straight. There needs to be a straight line from your shoulder all the way down to your knees. Um, if you're like, if you're on your knees, but you're a little bit more like this, where you're, there's a clear bend in your hips, there's not real any benefit or balance to bring a hand up. You have to be down and almost like you're getting ready to do a push up, but then bring that right arm up across the tap. So we're gonna do 10 each side. I'm gonna give you the front angle. Here we go, three, two, one, 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 two, two. Going to 10. Three, four, five. I'm trying to stay as stable as possible. Six. Try not to get any rocking back and forth, even though you're shifting that weight. 10, 10, nice job. All right, so that's one time through. We're gonna catch our breath here, get something to drink. I'm gonna make sure that the video hasn't cut off here because three times in a row would just be way too much for me. But uh, here we go, we're looking good. We're gonna go through this circuit one more time. Now, what I what I will tell you guys this is if you if this is the first time you are doing this video, uh, two times through is the max that I would want you to do. Uh, if, if you've done it before, maybe a couple of times, and this is your third, fourth time uh, doing this workout, and you want to try a third set, go for it. Um, I'm just gonna ask you to rewind back to the start of this round two. Um, so make a note where we are right now. We're gonna go through, do it a second time and then cool down. Um, but if you are going for three rounds, you're just gonna repeat this, this uh, part um, for the third round. So uh, we've done all the movements. We're gonna go a little bit more rapid fire this time and we're gonna finish off strong. So we're gonna start with arms up 90 degrees. Here we go. In, up, down, that's one. Up, down, 
that's two. That's three. Make sure those elbows are staying together. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, last one, guys. Nice job. Going right to our pull apart again. I'm gonna start with more of a bent over for resistance. Pretend I have my imaginary band. Pulling it apart. Good. Two, three, four, five. And if you can pause at that top just for a second, just for a moment. Um, That'll really accentuate the, the muscular contraction here, which is what we want. More time under tension. All right, three more. Last one, we're gonna hold a little extra longer. Last one, ready, hold it, squeeze it, pull it a little bit more, a little bit higher, and relax. Nice job. All right, so those should be burning. We are going to our shoulder raises next. So, starting. Arms out in front, we're gonna front raise, out wide, together, that's one. Up, out, together, two. Three, nice, long breaths, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, last three, should be burning. Last one, looking good guys. All right, nice job, should be burning. We're going straight to our upright rows. So, nice wide stance. Arms out in front, pulling them up, but again, keep those shoulders down. Keep the neck and chin up nice and straight. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice job. All right. Again, a little breather here with our external rotations. Uh, arms 90 degrees, shoulders down, pulled back. Ready, go. Two. It doesn't seem like it's a really major movement, but your rotator cuff, when you hear that term rotator cuff, it's actually a collection of four different muscles um, that little tiny muscles that um, comprise that, that rotator cuff and, and give your shoulder the capability to do all those rotational movements. So that's what we're kind of focusing on is those external rotators. Um, again, small muscle groups, but really still um, important for us to hit. All right, uh, push-ups coming up next. I'm gonna do these from my toes this time. Um, if you wanna stay on your knees, that's fine. Uh, you know, find what works for you. We're gonna Belt these out here, 15, ready, go. Nice job, guys. Um, and then we're gonna try to do these in the right order this time. <laughs> My apologies, but last time we're gonna set up the bird dog next. Left, up, left leg, right arm, man, I just cannot Get things straight today. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Nice job. All right, switching sides. Right leg, left arm. Ready, go. Nice 
time. All right, back on your stomach. We're going around the world. Here we go, arms up and down. One, two, three, Eight, nine, last one, ten, excellent. Last movement, let's hope, let's hope this recording worked. Last movement is the shoulder taps. Again, straight hips, you can go from your toes if you want. And alternating one, two, three, four, Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and grab a couple stretches here. We're gonna start off in a seated position. We're gonna start off big breath in, arms all the way up, nice and high. Stretch as tall as you can. And big exhale, forward fold. Crawl those fingertips out just a little bit further. Inhale, back through center. Arms all the way up. Exhale, to my right, your left, whatever. Put on both sides. So as long as you're stretching, we're just gonna flip sides. Exhale, other side. Inhale back through center. Exhale, we're gonna go interlock the hands behind your back. So it's gonna look something like this. If you can't quite reach, that's okay. You can grab onto a towel, a t-shirt, something else uh, to bridge that gap. But if you can interlock, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna press the hands away from your body. So big stretch across the chest. If you're looking at it from the side angle. Big wide open stretch. We're gonna come back to uh, arms out to your side. We're gonna tilt out to one side, up and over the top. Tilt out to the other side, over the top. And then we're gonna come back to center, nice and wide. Open up those arms, give yourself a big hug. And the last thing we're gonna do is just relax your arms. We're gonna do some big shoulder rolls. And let's finish off with a few big deep breaths. So big inhale up, exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, nice work guys. Thanks for bearing with me through the uh, technical difficulties today, uh, but great workout. I uh, hope to see you guys back again soon. Make sure you uh, stay hydrated, get something good to eat, and uh, keep those shoulders loose for the next couple of days. You might, might get some soreness, but that's a good thing. Um, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys back soon. Thanks.